Revival Center family. We want to say thank you for joining us today in our Sunday online service. We want to say again how much we appreciate you understanding and being flexible throughout the entire month of December and really throughout all of 2020. Today's a little bit different as our Sunday is only online, but we are getting ready to enter into a time of worship and then Pastor Johnson will be bringing a word. But we wanted to take a moment to remind you that our next service in person is going to be Sunday, January 3rd. That is the very first Sunday of 2021. We will be taking communion on that Sunday as we are starting our new year off. And so we want to make sure that you are there. Do not miss it Sunday at 1030 on the 3rd of January. All other services are online. And for midweek this coming week, there will not be an online service or an in-person service. It is a time for family. We hope that all is well for you and your family. Our prayers are with you. Thank you so much for being with us today. We hope that you're blessed by this and you enjoy this service. Be blessed. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? Trust in the Lord today. willing to trust I will trust I place my trust in you yes I do trust in him we want you to place your hope in him today that's what we've come to do hallelujah we said our hope on you we said our hope on your love we said our hope on the one who is the everlasting god you are the everlasting god
your prayer today right where you're at. Bible Center family, I come to you in the name of the Lord. I greet you on this Sunday morning with something exciting I feel like the Lord has put on my spirit. I was driving past these almonds and I feel as if the Lord quickened this to my spirit. I felt like the Lord just deposited something into my heart and soul and I, I want to share that with you this morning. I know that the landscape is different. The landscape is changed than what we are typically accustomed to, not only in this setting as you're viewing this from your home on Sunday morning, but also as I preach to you and deliver to you the Word of the Lord. Now, I'm not going to be very long this morning because while you are comfortable at home, I am standing out here in this almond uh, orchard. But I, as I drove past these almonds today, I felt the Lord just quickened into my spirit the things that God does in between. And we are in a land, if you will, of the in between. We are in between an old year and a new year. In between last week's service and this week's service. We are also in between seasons. And metaphorically, that is exactly what these almonds were speaking to me. It's not yet the dead of winter, but not yet the budding of spring. And God ironically works in seasons. Seasons change, seasons come and seasons go. You can look around at the leaves, the foliage that is on the ground around us indicating that the season has changed. And also you can look up at the almonds and it, you can tell that it won't be long before springtime comes again and the almonds will begin to bloom. I want to speak to you, child of God, that the season of life that you are in right now, and some of that, for some of us, a lot of us, it's a season of difficulty and challenge and fluidity. Perhaps that's what you're thinking as you're viewing this service online. But I want to tell you, just as the Word of God teaches us in Ecclesiastes, to everything there is a season. Seasons come and seasons go. 
seasons can change. And the season that we are in right now, though difficulty and problematic in that we are out of our routine and our structure that we are accustomed to, the season will change. And as the coldness and the darkness of winter moves out of the way, I assure you, God orchestrates the seasons and changes of our lives. The Bible also tells us in Psalms 104 and 10 that God works in between the seasons. It's the in-between times, the hills and the valleys, the mighty and the weak. And you might be asking, Pastor, what do I need to do in these in-between seasons, 2020, in between 2021? in between winter and spring or summers or falls, in between services, in between years, I encourage you today as you view this short devotional, God works in the in-between. I would tell you three things that I feel like we need to do as a church and a body of believers as we search and mitigate the land of the in-between. And number one, we need to plan. Whatever it is that you're asking God to do, write down a plan of what you're envisioning for the Lord to do in your life, in your family, in your ministry, in your career. You need a plan. Don't just be paralyzed by the pandemic. Don't be paralyzed by fear and uncertainty. Write down a list of the things that you are planning for God to do. Jeremiah 28 talks about that. I know the plans that I have for you, saith the Lord. There is a divine plan and blueprint, not only for your life and your children's life, but also for the life of your family and our church. And I wanna tell you, I say this with confidence, even in the land of the in-between, God has a plan for you and us and our families and our church. And the second thing you need to do after you uh, organize the plans that you feel like God has for you is you need to prepare. You need to start preparing to execute those plans, whether that be uh, winning a soul or finishing school or planning your career or great evangelistic endeavors. You need to not only plan, but you need to prepare and watch how God can orchestrate that. Prepare your spirit, prepare your mind, prepare your attitude because we're getting ready to go into a season of prayer and fasting. And the last thing I want to encourage you to do as your pastor and as your shepherd is pursue after the things that you have planned for and prepared for. Pursue after them. I want us to pursue after God in a way this year than we never have before. And as we approach, as you're viewing this, we're approaching 2021. We're leaving behind 2020, the best of times and the worst of times in some respects. But in 2021, our theme is going to be pursue. Pursue God, pursue righteousness, pursue souls, pursue discipleship, Let's not just plan, let's not just prepare, but in the land of the in-between, in between two seasons, in between a pandemic and possibilities, let's pursue God like never before in the history of our church. And I know this setting is different. I know this season is different. I know some of the things that you have experienced and I have experienced. We've never experienced anything like this before. But in the in-between seasons of life, in between hills and valleys, in between sunshine and rain, in between winter and the oncoming spring, I believe that God wants to reveal Himself to us in a way that He has never revealed Himself in our entire lifetime. I am not fearful, I am not afraid, but I am planning, I am preparing 
and I am pursuing after God with all of my heart, soul, and strength as I reach into the new year and I leave behind an old year. And by the help of the Lord, our first service back together in person is going to be on January the 3rd. We're going to observe the Lord's Supper and it's going to be a service that I believe God is going to meet us as we observe the ordinances and covenants of the Lord. I believe it's going to be a great time. So plan, prepare, and pursue after the things of God. Even though it's unsettling, even though it's different, even though it doesn't look like it used to look, and you may be feeling the fluidity of change, not change in doctrine, but maybe even watching this service at home, change in the methods that we're having to use during this season. Remember, this season will change. In the coldness of winter, there is the promise of the budding of spring, even in the land of the in-between. I love you all very much. I look forward to seeing you soon. I pray God's blessing on you. I pray the protection of the Lord over Revival Center, over every man, woman, family, young person. Be encouraged and be strengthened. Our God is with us. And even in the land of the in-between, God is still working in our midst. I love you. I look forward to seeing you on January the 3rd. Amen. God bless you.